Hello and welcome to this video about uh, like a better way to do baking in Blender. In my previous video, uh, the baking, well, while it did work, it really didn't explain the whole process of baking correctly. And it was probably more of an anomaly in the baking in Blender to work than it was regular thing that it works in that way so I'm gonna make this video more about the easiest way to set up a working baking process with the blender render and I hope this one will work without any issues of people having that it's a, a circle reference and any other problems that might occur because they apparently had that with the other baking video which is almost a year old now so it's yeah I really need to improve it so let's start uh, I'm just gonna start with the standard blender uh, new file uh, with the camera the cube and the, the light so the first thing we'll do is we'll make two objects I'm just gonna use this cube here and the only thing I will do is duplicate the cube I'll probably have to turn on my key on screen key thing start display so you can actually see what I'm doing with the keyboard the only thing I'm gonna do with this cube is go into wireframe mode and scale it a bit down so we have one big cube and one small cube so we can easily distinguish between the two cubes and we're now gonna go into texture mode and we can see with the light or is with light out effects well blender render is not really the best thing to use with lights you really should go to cycles which gives a much nicer result so we'll just set everything to shadeless and that will be that but uh, now we'll go back to solid mode otherwise we cannot see jack shit so we're gonna select the bigger cube this is the cube where we will apply our normal textures and where we will bake from to the other smaller cube so the first thing I'll do is I will mark every seam as a seam and I'll unwrap this so we get a nice and easy unwrap as we can see here in the UV image editor we just get all these little squares I will open a new file from my desktop I already prepared this beforehand and this is the baking tutorial uh, it's just a few colored uh, cubes so like we can clearly see if it baked correctly or if it didn't bake correctly in the end result so this is all we'll do for now in this cube and we'll continue to the other cube select the other cube so here we can see the other cube and we'll do the exact same only one thing will be different which will be the texture so i'm gonna create a new texture just a standard empty image file we'll do the same we'll mark every seam as a seam and we'll wrap it so we get the exact same layout of cubes so if we bake now to the untitled image we'll get black and ah, that's not really what we want so we're gonna change some settings and this will really be only in the materials tab so one of the first things we'll enable is the shadeless option um, so if we bake now let's see what it does it will make it white just like we saw before in the uh, in the blender render like here in the view um, so the other thing we see is there is not a texture I don't, don't look at that it's not what I wanted to show I really should turn that off so this doesn't really work so what we normally do with baking is we bake from a selected object to an active object so we'll select that feature and we'll select the object we want to bake from and we press shift and we select the object we want to bake to so the one with the orange lines is the active object if we bake now we'll get the exact same it doesn't really work now yet so what we do in the materials tab is we see a material and if we go to the texture of the material there is not really a texture applied to the material so we'll change that we'll remove this texture and we'll make a new one this one is of course the object we want to bake to so we select our untitled texture 
on the other cube, the big cube, the colors we already have, we'll do the exact same, but a bit different. This material is the material we saw on the other cube, so it's not the material we want to use uh, for this object. We want to use a new material, otherwise you'll get a circle reference. And then the baking really doesn't work, because you try to bake from um, object A to object A, which is weird and it shouldn't work. So we'll just remove that material, we can only do that in object mode of course. We'll remove the material and we'll make a new one. We'll also set this to shadeless and we'll go to the texture tab. We want to make sure by both, like in both of the times selecting the texture that we have the material texture selected. If you do the normal texture, it doesn't really work and you don't get the result you want and it doesn't make correctly. So we'll just use the material texture and we'll set this to new. Uh, we choose image texture we already loaded the baking tutorial texture in so we can just click on that if you haven't you can just open a new texture and it will be all fine so this is about it if i set up everything correctly we now should go baking select the object we want to bake from select which object we want to bake to open the object we want to bake to because then it immediately selects the correct UV map otherwise you will well it will be possible to bake to the wrong UV map and you lose one of your image textures which is not really nice I had that happen to me once and I wasn't really happy with it but you can of course recover it but it's not really something you want to do so if we press bake right now click there we go the colors so we can check, like if we go to texture, we can check if everything baked correctly. So we'll grab the cube, we'll move it out, we'll go into texture, and we can see that the blue on this side, the, the magenta on this side, orange on the top, green on the bottom, yellow on the other side, and magenta on this side are all baked correctly from this cube to this cube. Uh, this will be it. If there are any more questions about the baking uh, options in Blender Render, I'll be happy to make a video about it if like, you want to see something more. Uh, my next video on tutorials in Blender will be on the creation of LODs in Blender. So that's, that has also to do with uh, baking actually, because for most of my the creation of LODs in Blender I use baking as an easy way to get textures from uh, my LOD 0 to LOD 1. So it kind of looks correct when you zoom out. So I hope you all enjoy and I hope to see you in the next video.